guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making grommet water. So what you want to do first is rinse out your cup for making a frappe. Because you don't want to eat. Because you don't want to eat. Caramel or milk or go your own. Um, so what you want to do is you then want to grab your ice. Mine's really hard to get out. Is that good, dear? Oh, it's gonna break the cup. Okay, this is better pieces now. Just fill your cup all the way up. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Okay, and then you wanna grab the ice that you just put it into a cup unnecessarily. And put it into your blender. This will be your cold water. You then want to put your blender lid back on. Get the soap out of the lid that you accidentally missed. That you missed by accident. And just put that on your cold water. Now, we're not going to be blending this yet. We still have other things to be doing. Is there a point? Okay, we'll figure that out later. So, you, what you then want to do is. You know, we're stuck in a piece of glass that actually really hurt. Okay. You then want to. I did that in my other one as well. I can't just roll this piece. <coughs> go in here and grab a pot. So now that you have your pot, you want to put it on the bench. Close. <laughs> And now oh, I have caramel in my skin. I was really good caramel for that. Um, you want to put it on your stove and get your ice. I'm going to use this chunk and this piece. You want to go over, put it into your um, thing. You then want to put the camera ice I couldn't see it what the heck okay. so what you then want to do is turn on the stove with your knee oh that's scary now okay we're going to put this down okay okay we're stove with your on Amazing. Throwing them away. And so now that that is heating up, you then want to go to wherever you keep your spoon thing. Wherever you keep your ladle thing. <laughs> if you have one, not a normal spoon, it'll work. But I like being hot. You want to just kind of watch that ice melt. <laughs> And then in your cup, which you do need to have, you need to have a cup, you want to grab a cup, looking everywhere today, and for the start in the cup, you want to just fill it up with some cold water. You don't want to drink that water. Something else. I want to come back and grab more ice and put the slush from the bottom of the ice container into your ice cup. Your cup. You then want to go and check on your ice over here. It is almost fully melted. Just give that a little bit of a stir. Whilst you go over here again and figure out how to put it on a stupid lid onto a blender because you can't get it on. Okay, and then you want to go and put it onto. You want to actually turn the stupid thing off. On. Okay, apparently, I can water in with that. 
I'm very smart. Okay, you need to put water in with your um, ice, or it won't work very well. It will break your blender. I don't know what my one did you break. I'm just gonna put that in there. Add a little bit more ice because you just kind of melted all the ice with the warm water that you just put in. <laughs> and then you wanna put that on. Oh. Put it on properly. Properly do that. Turn that off, just leave that to oh. leave that off. Come over with your soap. Because you can smell your water burning. Mix it around. Turn off your stove. And then you want to pour it into your glass very carefully because it's very hot. You want to melt all the ice that was just in there. Put it back in the stove so it doesn't want to burn anything because it's very hot. And then you want to grab your icy water that probably has dish soap in it now. So whatever that is, the frothy stuff, because it's literally just froth now. Oh, it's full. You want to then go and pour it, the top part into something because we still have a lot more stuff to add. There's so much water coming out of this I don't want. Okay, put all your water into there to start off with. <sighs> Grab a spoon because your thing isn't cooperating. And just dig all of that ice out into the cup. Because it was six minutes to a work video with Robert and Daddy, and I still didn't edit it because it didn't really need it. Well, it did, but we couldn't be bothered to edit. And then this is going for eight minutes. So now that you have practically all of your ice in there, you to throw away your spoon basically. See how yellow that water is? Tip it out. Realize that you need to. Reboil ice, which is good. You just grab a spoonful of ice because you can't bo be bothered to do that. And you take your glass, you wait here, you grab your ladle, you pour your ice into your ladle for no reason at all. But to then realise it's hardened and you don't know what to do with it now. So you then come over to your water machine, which I'll just bring out to you, um, and then you fill it up with cold water. So you just lay it up with cold water. Realise it's a broken plate or something because some stuff just near on the bottom. That's not really supposed to happen and it's really cold. You then just let that drip over there, just like that. Let all of that drip. Then you just pour it all in. You water your ice. 
Don't forget to put a yarrow, it's very important. Oop, drop in, that's fine. And then with your grommet water, you just want to add the rest of your water dye. You want to add some caramel syrup. Make it delicious. You also want to add a few drops of your milk that's left. Yum. You then want to go into your fridge and add soy sauce. Yum. Then you want to mix it around to give it that little bit of colour. It's not coloured enough. You want to really make it look like Coke. It's like, dump it in. Dump it in. Do you see? Now it's really coloured and nice. And you want to add water. Drop in a used tea bag. Mix it around with that used tea bag. Put the used tea bag in the bin. Where you found it. And go to your pantry and add some mixed herbs. Delicious. I might say to myself. I might say to myself, it's really good. Couple of those for colouring and flavouring. Mix it all through. And don't worry, you do not see these because you add more soy sauce. Just look at that, it looks like grass at the top of your drink. So add some more soy sauce. So as it's splattering all over you with the way you were doing it. And you grab your spoon that's sinking. Mix it around some more. Go over to the sink again. Fill it up with some more water, the warm water this time though. Mix it around a little bit more, take out the excess. Drop your glass almost, practically, drop your glass. Colour your sink, rinse out your sink so you don't get into trouble. And then it should look a bit like this. What you then want to do is go back into your fridge and grab whipped cream, butter sauce, barbecue sauce, some leftover Chinese sauce, it's all very necessary by the way. Go back over to where you get your hair planning and sanitizer, and then you want to grab some dish soap as well. And then you want to just put those away because you don't want to actually use those. You want to just add a bit of barbecue sauce into your mixture, into your concoction, just like that. Mix that around. Add your whipped cream. This is like amazing, by the way. Make it every day. You just want to put all your whipped cream in that. Make it look amazing. Grab your tomato sauce. Drizzle that over the top. Some extra flavour, add some more caramel sauce over the top. Add it smells amazing. <laughs> some barbecue sauce over the top. Soy sauce, just a touch, and a spoonful of mixed herbs. Just like half a spoon. And just use that as like sprinkles. Oh, and we almost forgot the sauce. The best part. Just move everything out of the way now because you don't want to drop anything. And then grab this. 
grab a spoon, clean spoon, grab your sauce, just dip it in. Oop, it's running down the side. It's a runaway, some runaway sauce. Just put that over the top like so. You have it, yeah. Amazing drink. Mm.